I was gonna ask you. Okay. What are you talking about? I mean, this is a top, top opportunity. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is a beautiful day. The sky is blue, the sun is shining, everything feels good. I feel like the sun is back in our lives here in, in Toronto <laughs> and what a difference it makes. Waking up with the sun coming into your room is the best feeling, especially after not having it for like weeks on end. It's amazing. Welcome back sunshine, it's nice to have you. It's actually a beautiful day today. Like it's gonna be warm or warm for February, which is 47 degrees. Fahrenheit, eight degrees Celsius. That's a nice day in February. So we're gonna have to go out there and make the most out of it. But I also haven't vlogged like a typical vlog in a minute now. My last two vlogs were a little bit more themed and I feel like it's gonna be fun just to spend the day together today and catch up and chat about things and should be a good day. We have all the components of what makes a good day for me. So it's gonna be a good one today. It's gonna be chill, very average, regular day in the life. I'm feeling super recharged after this past weekend. If you haven't seen my last video, it was my 24 hour reading challenge with Sarah. It was the best weekend ever. Like <laughs> instead of going out and like doing anything, Sarah and I sat on the couch Saturday and Sunday reading books and then talking about the books. And it was the best time ever. Like truly I would do it again and again and again and again. Spent the last two days deeply editing. So I had really nothing to share there. So now we're back and we're vlogging and we'll see what happens today. Eggs for lunch, we topped with avocado as always and chili onion crunch. I even added a little bit of cottage cheese just for extra protein. This looks so good. Mm. Eggs are just a classic, a staple. It's kind of clouded over. Well, that way it looks blue, I don't know. Either way, it still looks like a nice day out there. I'm gonna be going out with my mom, but I wanted to talk about some stuff, just like little, little mini updates. So first update is my running, working out, my ankle, all that stuff. So I haven't ran since the beginning of February, which is such a bummer, because I was in such a good routine and I was loving it and I felt active and I felt healthy and I, I just really liked the way I felt. And so not really doing any exercise since then, I'm just kind of like, ugh. I wanna get back to it so badly and my ankle feels like 100% now. I have given it its rest. I decided not to push it and not do the leg glute workout I was gonna do. So many people in the comments were like, don't do that, what are you thinking? And I don't I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking, you know, I, I'll work on my legs, but I really just, my ankle said rest. So I rested it. And when I was in Florida, I had mentioned that my aunt is a physio. So she checked it out. She said, it's more than likely tendinitis because I didn't twist it or anything. I just, it just started hurting. Like it was, it was overuse. Anyways, whatever. She said four to six weeks, it should be better and then I should be able to run again. And it's been three weeks, I think. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't hurt anymore. Like I could easily forget that I hurt it in the first place. The last couple of days I've been jogging on the spot a little bit just to see if it comes up again and if I feel anything and I haven't felt anything. So that's really exciting. Obviously I don't wanna push it and I don't wanna run too early and then have it come back right away. Very scared of that happening. So I'm gonna give myself a little extra time. I'm gonna wait until next Monday to try running again. But I am gonna go to the running, I think it's called the running room with my mom today and get fitted for legit running shoes that work for my feet, assessed by the professionals that work there, whatever. Gonna have, you know, a professional fitting done because I think that that would maybe help prevent this in the future. Maybe it was my shoes, I don't really know. I just know that I bought a pair a few years ago and I just started running in those and that's all I did. We're gonna get back into running and do it right or as right as possible. I don't really know what right looks like. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing today and I'm really excited because I, I just want to get back on my running journey. The 10K is gonna come up really fast and I need to get back to training if I want to do it in a good time, which I do. <laughs> the second thing that I wanted to talk about is my upcoming travels. So I have a flight to LA for next week. I haven't been there since you know, the lease ended at my apartment and I moved everything back here. So I think it's gonna be very interesting to see how I feel and just how it is being back there without having an apartment. Very intrigued. It's actually gonna be a kind of shorter trip. I was gonna stay for like 10 days and then something came up, which you heard at the beginning of the vlog. And because of that, I changed my flights to come home earlier because there is now another trip and it's an insane trip. 
like insane. I can't wait to tell you guys about it because it's gonna be just insane. It's just gonna be so cool. I just don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it yet. So anyways, just know that upcoming stuff is gonna be really fun. But first we have LA, it's Jill's 30th birthday. So there was no way I was not gonna go and celebrate that with her. That was an essential. So gonna be really fun these next few weeks. <sighs> I gotta like mentally prepare myself. Lots going on. <laughs> Just got myself dressed. Very basic little outfit. I don't really care. But I am gonna do a tiny little bit of makeup. Just my my no makeup makeup for when I'm leaving the house and I wanna put something on, but not actually do the whole thing. We're just gonna do a little bit. It always starts with skincare. So usually I use the Fenty Skin. This is an SPF moisturizer and it's the best. It's just the perfect prep step for whatever I'm putting on my face. Also really nice to have the SPF already in it. I think it's like SPF 40, I don't know. It also adds like a really nice glow to the face. I feel like this in itself just makes my skin feel and look so much better. Gonna use the Kosas Concealer. This one I'm just gonna put under my eyes. Actually, wait, this one's too dark. Okay, just kidding. I'm gonna use the NARS Concealer. This is the NARS Creamy Concealer, which has been my go-to forever, but I have quite a few different concealers right now, so I go back and forth depending on the day. But this one's nice and reliable, and I'm just putting that under the eyes. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm just gonna put under my nose, like where it's a little bit more red. I've been using a Nude Sticks blush, but I'm gonna use the Beta Tint today just because I feel like it's, I don't know, it's just the most natural blush ever. I just do like a little swipe on both sides and I use this end of my brush and I just blend it. And it just looks so natural, like I was just out in the cold. And I feel like that's what we're going for right now. Actually, I'm gonna put this on my lips too. I forgot how much I liked this. <laughs> so many good products, not enough, not enough time. Two more products, we're just gonna take my go-to Eyebrow powder, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Duo. And I'm just putting it on the outsides of my brows. Like I'm not gonna fill in anywhere near the middle, but my ends are just more sparse. And so I just do a little bit and I mix both shades and that's better. And then lastly, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of mascara. This is the, what is this, Lancome Idol Lash. And then that's gonna be it for today. Just a little something. I will link the products down below. Let me know in the comments what you usually do if you're doing a no makeup makeup. Like how much makeup do you put on on those days? You guys know me, I really don't wear makeup every day, but some days it's just nice to have a little bit on that takes like literally three minutes to put on your face. I don't know how much I like this mascara too. <laughs> so my mom's coming here at around 30 with Brady because they're back from Florida. They came back over the weekend. My dad was actually over here yesterday and he dropped off some stuff that I had sent back in the car with them. <laughs> so I'll show you guys that stuff downstairs, but they're back now. The main reason my dad came over yesterday is because he wanted to pick up some stuff that I was giving him, but I'm so excited to see my little Bubba. I got so used to seeing her every day in the morning. She would come and jump on my bed and lick my face. and It was so much fun. So I'm excited to see her. And then my mom and I are gonna walk to the running room. That's what it's called, I think. Anyways, that's my face. Let me show you the stuff that is downstairs. So I had to order things on Amazon because the US Amazon is just better than the one here. They just have more, there's more stuff on there. So there were things that I ordered that I just couldn't fit in my suitcase. Also, the suitcase was getting kind of heavy. So I wrapped this up in one of my dresses so that it wouldn't break, but I got these little, I don't know what to call them, but essentially they're like little berry baskets. I'm gonna put my berries in here, obviously wash them. I thought they were just aesthetic. So I have two, I actually meant to give this one to my mom. So I'm gonna see if she still wants it today. This one's bigger and they definitely eat a lot more fruit than I do. So my fruit will fit just fine in the little one. And then I also got this coffee table book. I, this is so random, like why? I don't know why. My dad, when he was giving this to me yesterday, he was like, why did you do this? Like this is so unnecessary. And yes, maybe it is unnecessary, but Sometimes things are unexplainable. And I just thought this was like the coolest looking coffee table book. So we're gonna put this on the coffee table, I think. It actually might be like a little too big for the coffee table. And then in that case, gonna go on the console up in the office. Like I have lots of spots to put this, but I thought it was such a nice looking book. I don't even know what the book's about. I don't really look through any of my coffee table books because that's not the point of them. They're for aesthetics. Either way, I got this. I'll link it down below. I think those are the only two Amazon things, but then there's also this sauce from Trader Joe's that my parents drove back for me. This Rosatella pasta sauce made with cream, Italian tomatoes, and some type of cheese. Maybe I'll try this tonight, actually. And then lastly, I got some Revolve stuff that I had shipped to Florida, thinking that I would get it in time before I left, but then I didn't. So they brought it back for me. I got this. I'm ready for spring. Look how pretty this color is. Are you kidding me? This nice pale yellow. I love this. This is such a cute little sweater. And then again, thinking I was gonna get this before Valentine's Day, I wanted to wear this for Valentine's Day. I thought so cute, but yeah. 
didn't I didn't get it in time. Either way, it's so soft and still adorable. We love it. Great for spring. I got this bodysuit. It's actually pretty thick. Like, I feel like I won't have to wear a bra with it. Just a very simple, basic mock neck bodysuit. And then lastly, I got this thinking I was gonna wear it in Florida. Such a pretty dress. I'm actually so excited to wear this when the weather is warm or I'm on a trip. I don't know, TBD. Either way, I thought it was so pretty. And this brand is actually one of the more affordable ones on Revolve. So I will link all this in the description for anyone curious. Also brought back one of my books that I didn't get around to reading on the trip. I, as I said, my suitcase was pretty full. So I couldn't pack this and I figured I would just send it with them. My physical TBR is starting to get <laughs> a little aggressive. Like I, I just, since starting to read physical books, I just keep wanting to buy more of them. And I've been buying them because I keep seeing recommendations on TikTok or just wherever. And then I'm like, oh my God, I have to get that so I don't forget. And then I'll order it on Amazon. And now the TBR is really building. Actually, maybe I'll show you guys all the physical books that I have to read because there's a ton. So obviously starting off, we got Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I was picking between this book and People We Meet on Vacation to read on my trip if you didn't see my vacation reading vlog. Clearly I'm loving that kind of content. Like I just love talking about books. Ended up picking the other one, obviously. So I have to read this one and then I have my other books upstairs. But also we have the entire like Akatar book set to read. I have four books. I'm a quarter of the way into the second book right now. And then I have they're seriously thick books. So I don't really know if I'm gonna read them straight or if I'm gonna mix and match, I don't know. I think this is the last one. I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to look at, oh my God, it's huge. It's huge. How many pages? Oh my God, it's like 700 something pages. I have such an aggressive amount of books ahead of me. Let me show you the other books I'm talking about. Before I started Akatar, I was maybe gonna start this other series that I saw on TikTok, hold on. Okay, so here are all my books. <laughs> first of all, um, I have the Magnolia Park series. I read the first book and I loved it, like I adored it. And then the next book is Daisy Hates. I also don't know why these are different sizes. It kind of bothers me because they're supposed to be a series and all match. Anyways, this is the next book. So maybe I'll read this in between Akatar. I don't know. And then we have The Long Way Home, and I think there's maybe two other books that are currently out. But obviously I have to get the cute UK covers. I get so many questions asking where I found these, and I just found them on Amazon. I just searched Magnolia Parks UK covers, and they came up. Definitely took a long time for them to get here, like a solid month. Oh my God, this is a big book. Holy, but worth it, because these covers are so cool. Like they're just different, and I think that's really fun, especially because their other covers are so boring now. It's just so basic. When, if you have the option of doing this, why would you do anything else? Okay, then the other series that I bought, this is the series I saw on TikTok and I bought it without knowing a single thing about this series, but it's a Shatter Me series. And I feel like so many people say it's incredible. The past will not forget me. I, I know nothing about this, like literally nothing, but it looks kind of spooky. I think it's got like, I think it's maybe fantasy, maybe thriller, maybe romance. I really don't know. Maybe all the above. I don't know. If you do know, let me know if you think I'm gonna like it. Cause I already, oh well, I already bought it. So I will be reading these. I just don't know when, cause now I have a lot of books. I also have a couple of book of the month books that I wanna read. And also they're coming out with a second book, a sequel to A Thousand Boy Kisses, which I loved that book so much. A sequel's coming out, I think in like April, I don't know. Either way, I have a lot of books. A lot of books to read and I love them. Like I just, there's so much excitement. It doesn't seem to want to end. On our way, yeah. Oh, oh my mom just sent me a video, Brady. Brady, hmm. are you ready to go see Tara? Do you want to go see Tara? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, you want to go see Tara? Okay, okay, we're going. Okay, okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go in the car. Oh my God. I love that little dog more than words could ever describe ever. I love her so much. We have a beautiful little relationship, Brady and I, and I think it's because I held her in the car on the way back when we got her. And I don't know, we have a special little bond. You know, watching that, I'm like, oh, she probably is that excited for everyone. But my mom always tells me that she is not that excited for anyone. I like to believe it's Brady and I. She knows we're good vibe, me and her. Oh, I love the little dog. Anyways, they're on their way. So we're gonna go for a nice, wonderful stroll. It is warm out there. It's nine degrees Celsius right now, which is insane. I'm so excited to go on a walk. Anyways, let me know what you think I should do. Like, should I just read all of the Avatar books straight? I'm not sure if I want to fly through them or if I want to savor them. Like, I really don't know what I want to do. Let me know what you think that I should do. Hopefully I get some nice riding shoes today that help my feet and my ankle. And then I don't have to worry about this stupid tendonitis thing ever again. <laughs> Here's hoping. Hi, Tiny. 
girl. Hello. <laughs> Brady. Hello. Hello. Welcome home. Thank you. Brady. <gasps> Come on. Hi. <laughs> We're back, I got a pair of shoes. Now, these are not the most aesthetic. Like, if I were to look at them in the store, I'd be like, mm, I don't know about these ones. But I tried on three different pairs of shoes that fit, I guess, there was a word, there was a term. I don't know, she had me do a lot of tests, like of walking, jogging, so she could see my feet in the way that I, I walk. Anyway, she said I should go for neutral shoes, whatever the heck that means. And I ended up with these New Balance shoes. They're actually not bad. Like, they're not bad. I would have gone for like an all white or all black or something like that. But actually, you know what? The more I look at them, the more... Either way, it doesn't even matter. I, I really don't even care about the aesthetics because the number one priority is having shoes that are going to be best for my feet. Hopping back into the running thing, like I want to do this right. And these felt really good in comparison to the other two pairs. So I tried... These are New Balance. I tried Asics and then... Brooks, I think. Either way, these felt the best of my feet, like doing my little jog. Felt so good. I felt like a little bit of an ankle thing with the other two pairs. And then I tried this one back on afterwards and I didn't feel that anymore. So I really think that a big part of it is the structure of the shoe, which makes sense. Anyways, this is what I got. I think if you're trying to get into running, don't listen to other people's recommendations because everybody has, you know, different needs. And I think everyone should go and get fitted professionally by people that know what they're talking about. Cause I don't know what I'm talking about. I can't recommend a shoe. I, I have no idea. But I was told to do this like bunny ear thing to loop this way for extra security on your foot and also to like kick your feet, kick your heel so that your foot is in the right position before you fully like lace them up. I don't know, I got a lot of fun information that hopefully makes a difference with my running. She said I can use those a few times on the treadmill and see how I feel and if I don't like them, I can return them. So we're gonna give it a whirl. I'm gonna try them. I'm gonna go for my first run on Monday and see how we do. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm a little nervous for sure, cause I don't want my ankle to flare up. Like I don't want to go run and then be like, oh shit, like I still can't run. And then worry every single time I go for a run that this is what's gonna happen. But my aunt said it should be fine. Anyways, we will see. Also my biggest thing is that I really want to run when I'm in LA. Like I want to be able to run on the boardwalk. I think that would be really fun, really cool. I would walk that boardwalk. So to, you know, go back and run it would be just really cool for me. Yeah. We'll see, but it is now 3.45. I'm gonna get a bit of work done and then we're gonna make something yummy for dinner. Well, you know what? Maybe maybe I'm just gonna make cauliflower gnocchi. <laughs> uh, mm, I don't know. I just wanna use that new sauce I got from Trader Joe's. We'll see, but I'm also going back and forth with a brand about booking flights for somewhere I've never been before. This is the trip that I was talking about earlier. I've never been there. I've never been over there. So I'm excited. I think we're gonna book it today. Anyways, that's what's going on. That's my little update. The sun is now coming back out after we got back because it was gray, but it was still nice. Like I was wearing a kind of lighter jacket. Anyways, um, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my God, I think this is happening. This is so exciting. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 7.20 now. I just had a few hours of trying to figure things out for the thing that I've been excited about, but now I'm like, it's looking a little complicated and I'm trying to figure out what my boundaries are and like what I can handle and I don't know. I don't know, we're figuring that out. So now we're here, cheers. Dinner time, we will figure things out another day. Another day as in tomorrow. But for now, I just need a little drink and I need to have some dinner and we'll figure it out in the morning. Sometimes you just reach a point and you can't figure things out. Sometimes you gotta sleep on things. And today we're sleeping on something. <sighs> Actually, what do I wanna have? Chili or butter tofu? I kind of want to do the chili. I'm going chili, some cheese. We'll use the pasta sauce another day, but I figure I may as well eat what's already made in my fridge now. I'm feeling lazy and I feel overwhelmed, so we're just gonna eat something that I already have done and is delicious. Little bit of cheese, little sour cream, straight out of my Tupperware. <laughs> That's what we're doing tonight. Okay, it's like 9.30. No, it's 9.50. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'll be here with my light. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow.
Okay guys, coffee has been consumed. I am going to go on the treadmill. I'm not gonna run because I don't think I should yet. I think I really should give it till Monday. But I do wanna see how my foot is. I also wanna see how these shoes feel before I 100% commit to them. Either way, I, I need to be active again. I feel like the anxiety I had last night, I don't know. I just know that when I am consistent with exercise, I don't spiral <laughs> and I can regulate my emotions a little bit better. <laughs> when I have exercise in my life. So I'm just ready, <laughs> I'm ready to get back. But also sleeping on it does make a huge difference. I woke up feeling a lot better about what I was stressed over yesterday. Feeling good today, but ready to try out these shoes. Ready to get a bit of a sweat going. Yeah, and just get back on the treadmill. Hopefully these shoes feel good. I mean, they do feel good. Like my foot feels really secure in them. So I'm just gonna do like a 30 minute incline speed walk kind of thing see how my ankle feels and if it you know feels a little sensitive i'm gonna stop but i feel like i can test it out and also my patience is limited these shoes feel good though so i'm excited to try them i'm feeling good we're feeling good no ankle pain i was so tempted to try to run <laughs> Just at the end there, just to see how it would feel. But then I was like, you know what? Don't push it. Don't push Tara. You're already pushing it. Oh, 11, 11, make a wish. I told myself Monday. I said Monday, get back on the treadmill, but I couldn't help myself. I had the new shoes and I just really wanted to see. And that was for sure a success. There was no pain at all. I did two and a half miles. Just good to like do my steps again. <laughs> I really hope that Monday I can run and there's no pain at all. That would be so nice. Then I can get back to training. I'm gonna have to go slow because clearly I, I don't know, maybe, maybe it wasn't that I was like overdoing it and it was the pavement in Florida. It was all, all over the place. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that I can get back to my running because I really, I have missed it. And I loved the way I felt when I had that routine. That was so solid, but I'm feeling good. It felt so good to like sweat again and like move my body. And I was just singing on the treadmill the whole time. I was just singing and vibing, dancing a little bit. Felt great, I'm so happy. I'm gonna make some eggs and then go shower. Delicious! This is gonna be so good. I've just been sitting here replying to emails and finally I've made my eggs. Now 11.45, did the same as yesterday. I added some cottage cheese, chili and crunch. I did a cheddar cheese in here today and then obviously lots of spinach. I love spinach. So I'll pack in as much as possible. Yum. I also feel like with the cottage cheese, you can't really tell. The flavor is masked by everything else and the texture is kind of similar that it's just extra protein. <laughs> Delicious, so good. Hello guys, it is later. It's now six o'clock, so I've been working all afternoon and now I'm getting ready because I have plans to go out tonight. I'm going to play some mini golf. <laughs> Should be a fun evening out in the world. You can't tell by my really awkward tone. Um, This is a date. This is actually a third date. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm actually really excited. Like I'm not really nervous. Obviously I'm going to be a little nervous always, but I'm not over here dying. Like I'm not freaking out or anything. <laughs> I don't know if I've mentioned this here, but my thought process with dating in 2024 was to only go on dates if I was excited to go on them. I was no longer gonna go on dates where I was kind of like, oh, I have to go on a date tonight. I'm only going if I'm actually excited to see the person and spend time with them because I just don't have it in me to do what I did last year. I just don't. Last year I did my date a month. Tosh and I held each other accountable and we went on a date a month all year. Of course I was there right here. And it was fun. It was fun for sure, but I don't want to do it again. I just, <laughs> I want to put my energy into people that excite me and then see how that goes. With dating, you really never know. Like there is never a sure thing ever. But if I don't feel excited, I don't think there's a point in going on a date. So that's my stance on dating this year. We will see, who knows? All I know is that we are going to play some mini golf. And I think activities on dates are the most fun because one, there's an activity if you feel awkward at all. Two, you get to like have fun and be silly goofy. And I feel like it's just easier for your actual personality to come out when there's games. And then you like make all these memories with the person. I think anything like that is so fun. Especially like a second or third date when you kind of have covered the basics about the other person and then you just kind of want to have fun and see if you vibe. Anyways, I'm meeting him there at 7.30, so I'm just getting myself ready now and then I'm gonna make some dinner really fast. I'm just making a really quick bowl of pasta. 
I would use the Trader Joe's sauce, but I actually want to use this. Ooh, act, well, I was going to go for the truffle picante sauce from Trader Joe's. This is so good, but it's really potent. <laughs> and I'm thinking maybe not for tonight. So maybe I will use the Trader Joe's sauce. I think we're going to. Why not? I feel like this is just going to be a classic rosé sauce vibe. Yeah. Oh, mmm. Stop timer. That is so cheesy. It's really cheesy. Okay, this looks so good. I added just a little bit of salt. Oh, I have Parmesan. As if it needs more cheese. Like that sauce is so cheesy, but you know what? A little sprinkle, sprinkle. We love. Delicious. Okay, leaving here in 15. So let's try a little bite. It tastes so different than I expected, but I like it. It's not like a sauce that I would crave and need to go back to Trader Joe's to get specifically. That's how I feel about the truffle picante one, for sure. This is kind of basic, but it's really yummy. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go and have a little night. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I love you so much and I'll see ya in the next vlog. Bye.